This is a tutorial for ISAR database. To get the information into the ISAR database, we're also going to look at the Flutter form builder. Let's start with a brand new project. Flutter create. I'm going to specify the platform. And I'm on Linux. You should use Mac OS or Windows or whatever platform you're on. I'm going to call mine uh, ISAR tutorial. I'm going to switch directories into the new ISAR direct directory and I'm going to add the packages flutter pub add so I'm going to do flutter form builder Oops. and form builder validators I'm going to do ISAR and ISAR flutter libs I'm going to add some dependencies to the dev flutter pub add hyphen hyphen dev I'm going to use build runner and ISAR generator I'm going to start a VS Code. In my VS Code extensions, I have Flutter Awesome Snippets in addition to the standard Dart and Flutter extensions. Okay, I'm going into lib main.dart. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to start off with a basic material app using the snippets. So I typed in M-A-T-E app. Okay. I'm going to pare it down. So I'm not going to have the title. I'm not going to have the app bar. Uh, I'm not going to have this uh, center. So I'm going to cl click on the light bulb. I'm going to remove the widget. And I'm not going to have this container. So I also will um, Remove the widget. Is it here? Okay, I'll do Control dot or Command dot on Mac, and I'll remove the necessary widget. So now all I have is this text widget here, which I'm going to delete. I'm going to do form builder, which is we call the child. There's an auto import here of Flutter form builder. The first task we're going to accomplish here is to create a basic text input form. So I'll have an upright form and the form will have some children. Because we're using the Flutter form builder and not just the Flutter forms, we'll go form builder text field. And the name of our text field we'll just right now We'll call it name for the person's name. We're going to input a person into our database. So let's give it a run. And we now have our form field here. So you can put names in here. Donald Duck or whatever you want. But we're going to put some padding around the form builder. So I'm going to select wrap with padding. Select the default and it pushed it in slightly here. You can put a person's name in here, Mickey Mouse, but the, right now your user doesn't know what to import. So in this text form field after name, we have um, decoration, we'll input decoration. And we'll just put a label here. So it's label, text, and the full name. We have it right here. I'll restart it. A full name, and then there's the animation. And then we have uh, 
you can put the name in there. Let's make a submit button. We need the elevated button. It will be blank right now. The child will be uh, text submit. Let's check it out. Boom, we have a submit button and it's a little close. So we will do the same thing control dot or command dot on the uh, on the Mac and I'm going to wrap it with padding I'll make this one a console so control dot or command dot on the Mac and same thing here do it again padding looks a bit better Let's set up a key. Global key form builder state. Whoops. Okay. So the global key is for the form builder state right there. We can now drop the key into the form builder key and it's form key now we have the form key right there we'll add a small validator just to make sure the field is filled in validator and this is form builder validators dot required and we'll have error text is Please input your name. Uh, nothing's happening here. The button is not enabled yet. So we will enable it. Form key dot current state dot save and validate. And it's red because it could be null. If you mouse over it, you can so we're going to put a little exclamation point there and then continue on with our if statement so if it's if the current state is okay mean that there's something in there then we will at this stage we'll print out the results so maybe i'll var form data maybe submitted data submitted data equals form key dot current state and then we have to do that again value and it's the name of the key uh, remember what we named the key we named it name and so at this stage we're going to print the submitted data Okay, let's give it a go. Craig, whoops. It's coming right there. It's empty. Please input your name. Nothing happens. There's no error down here. It's, life is good. Let's see, like, turtle. And we are good to go. So we have the information.